and welcome back to Asbury Woods for another virtual visit. My name is Melissa Goodwill and today I'm going to be helping you to explore what's under that log. Let's go off into the forest and see what we can discover. A magnifying glass is great for getting a closer look. Bug guides and amphibian guides can help identify who you find. And if you want an even closer look, a cup or bug box can be used. Fallen logs and branches become excellent parts of the habitat for a variety of different creatures. We may find amphibians, we may find insects or arachnids. Even growing on top of the logs, there may be mosses or lichens. In order to help preserve those creatures and make sure that they are protected while we're exploring their habitat, it's best to follow these tips. When you've found the perfect log, gently roll it over, scan underneath to see if anyone might be home, and then gently return the log back to the place where it was found. Remember, this is like someone lifting the roof off of your home. You don't want them to crush it when they put it back. Look carefully under every log you turn. Some animals have excellent camouflage to help them blend in and you may not notice them at first. These two salamanders were doing their best to try to hide, but we spotted them anyway. Choose logs that are small and easy to move. Sometimes the greatest finds are found under the smallest logs. Some animals we find under logs are best to look at and not touch. Bug boxes and cups can be great for looking at small insects, but leave spiders, slugs, and salamanders right where you found them. Salamanders have special skin that helps them to absorb moisture from their environment. If handled, they may absorb chemicals from your skin like lotions or soaps. If you find a salamander, take a look, but leave it on the ground. Hiding under this log, perhaps waiting for a bug to wander a little too close that it could turn into lunch, is a red-backed salamander. Red-backed salamanders are the most common salamanders found at Asbury Woods. Look, a yellow spotted salamander. Amphibians tend to prefer warmer days than today, so this one wasn't very active. Turning over this log revealed two curious creatures. Sometimes nicknamed roly-polies or pill bugs, these animals are called isopods. They actually aren't even bugs at all. They are crustaceans and are more closely related to crabs and lobsters than bugs. Squirming around under the bottom of this log was a little earthworm. We've also discovered a millipede. This slow-moving creature survives on a diet of rotting leaves under the logs. Just look at all of those legs go. This little spider was sure in a hurry. I wonder where it was going. While this log is a busy place, isopods wander as a busy centipede explores new places to hide now that I've uncovered their log home. Look at it go. The slug, however, appears to be unbothered by being discovered. Shelf fungus and turkey tail are just two of many types of fungus that can be found growing on rotting logs. Mushrooms like these are helping to decompose the log and recycle the nutrients in it back into the soil. Small plants known as moss are also typically found on rotting logs. The most unique thing found on logs are lichens. Lichens are part algae and part fungus. The fungus provides structural support to grow, and the algae creates energy through photosynthesis. Fallen logs are really amazing habitats, providing food, water, shelter, and space for a variety of living things. What can be found living on and under them is a fun surprise every time. Thanks for joining me to discover who was under all of those logs out there in our forest. We look forward to seeing you again for another Asbury Woods virtual visit.